head and his hairs were white like wool. Just like the Most High had that pure wool. So it does matter. It do matter. The head on his hair was like the pure wool. Woolly hair, nappy hair. Verse 15. And his feet like unto fine brass. His feet like unto fine brass. Tell them. Fine brass, but how this fine brass was rivers of brown look. As if they burned in a furnace. If what? As if they burned in a furnace. As if they burned in a furnace, y'all. Come on, that was very, very dark. Had to be very dark. Then people say, oh, it don't matter what color he look. How come it don't? That don't matter? Get off uh, when Philip talked to him in uh, John 4, 14 and verse 8. Because Philip want to know. He said, hey, man, show us the Father. This is what he said. Read. St. John 14 and 8. Philip saith unto him, Mashiach, show us the Father. What did he say? Show us the Father. He said, show us the Father. Now, we didn't have the scripture of the Most High. He had hair of pure wool. And the Mashiach Yavashai had hair of wool. And his feet like in the fine brass of it burned in the furnace. So Philip asked him, the Mashiach Yavashai, show us the Father. Read. And it sufficeth us. And it will satisfy us. Now, listen to what he said. Read. Hamashiach Yahweh Shai said unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that hath seen me hath seen the Father. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> like father, like son. He said, hey, you see me? You seen the Father. Get uh, Isaiah 53 out. And see, the images that we have in our mind is not necessary who Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, the anointed savior, when he walked to earth, who he was and what he went through. Like a lot of people getting ready, y'all getting ready to celebrate Easter tomorrow. And that's wrong, that's all pagan. They taught you that he died on Good Friday and rose on the, the two days later? Come on, you count from Good Friday, two days is on the first day of the week. You see? But see, our people are so brain polluted that they can't even count. One, two, three. That would be on the second day of the week. If you're gonna really keep it real, not tomorrow. And you know he rose on the third day, but then still you're gonna honor the pagans holiday of Easter. That's wrong. Like a whole lot of things are wrong. Read this. Isaiah what? 53. Isaiah 53 and 1. Who hath believed our report? Who hath believed our report? Read. And to whom is the arm of the Most High revealed? Who is the arm of the Most High revealed? Read. For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant. It's a Mashiach Yahweh right? Who the world calls Christ, read. And as a root out of a dry ground. A root out of a dry ground, man, because there ain't no water there. Dry ground mean there's no water to nourish the people. That's why he had to come and be born in a ghetto, in Bethlehem, a ghetto, read. He hath no form nor comeliness. And when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. You know? He wasn't handsome, y'all. So when the people seen him, they didn't desire him. Didn't desire to even look at him. Read. He is despised and rejected of men. He's despised and rejected of men. Is that way you, the way you think of him? Is that how you think of him? He was despised and rejected of men. Didn't nobody want to be bothered with him? Just like we are. Like us. <laughs> People come up and oh, they guess, oh, they don't want to deal with us. Just like him. So don't be concerned because they hated him before they hate us. Me? Uh, he is despised and rejected of men. A man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. This is him. This is what we talking about. This is what we talking about. He was acquainted with grief, sadness, sorrow. It wasn't all this 
happiness and joy. It's like we catch it in the kingdom of hell that we in. He was born in the kingdom of hell. Read. And, and we hid, as it were, our faces from him. They hid their face from him. They didn't even want to see him. Here he come. Oh, let me get out of here. Let me run from him. They didn't want to be bothered with him. Remember, he didn't look good. He wasn't handsome. Most I didn't allow him to come like that. That's why you had to hear his word and believe. Read. He was despised and he was despised and we esteemed him not. See? He was despised. And we didn't build him up. But see, they don't teach this. And we going into uh, these scriptures here showing you how he was treated, how he, how he was thought of. But they ain't gonna go through this tomorrow. You gonna hear this? That he was rejected, didn't nobody wanna even look at him? Put their hands over their eyes and ears when they seen him. Ah, oh, here he come, run away from him. Like the Jewish people run away from us. <laughs> Same way the people did him. We say, hey, we wanna talk to you. No, they don't wanna talk to us. But I bet you was out here screaming and hollering, God is love, he loves you, and Jesus wants everybody to be saved. Come on here, one and all, come as you are, no matter what you're doing, and you're going to heaven. Y'all be running over here like a chicken with his head cut off, just flocking over here. Them is lies. Those are lies. You've been used to hearing the lies. That's why when people come up, they have no form, but that's when we start, everybody got a form, everybody want to say something. But they won't go over there and teach. They ain't gonna go over that corner and teach by themselves. Wonder why. Hmm. But it always seemed to happen. That's why we come out and showing you love because the Most High want to see you make it and not perish. Read. Verse four. Surely he has borne our griefs. He borne our griefs. He carried our griefs, the children of Israel. Read. And carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of the Most High and afflicted. Smitten of the Most High and afflicted for our sake. And here we are running around concerned about somebody else that he wasn't even concerned about. He was concerned about us. We, the children of Israel. That was his mission to come to die for us. But see, we want to bring somebody else in. That's not you. When you look in the mirror, you don't see these other people. When they look in the mirror, they don't see you. You think you mean to tell me, show me some white people that's looking in the mirror and they say, oh yeah, that's me. And they look, they thinking about you. Or me. Or any of us. It ain't gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. But here we are. First thing we say, what? Oh, the Jew and the Greek. Okay, well, who are you talking about? When they say the Greek, who you think they're talking about? Who you think, huh? Esau. Esau. What about the other nations? What about the Cambodians? The Vietnamese? Eskimos? Samoans? And. Huh? Oh, he can already, he can already, he can already get in office. Then everybody gonna find out what tribe it is. Oh, it don't matter who gets in. They still gonna, hey, we ain't got nothing coming. Look, we had Obama. What we get from Obama? Huh? Ah, uh, okay. Don't vote for nah, I ain't vote for none of them. I ain't vote for none of them. We all, we all back, we all gonna be there anyway. What's that? I ain't voting for nobody. Most I said vote for our people. We supposed to vote for our people, nobody else. No, the rich, rich or nothing. <laughs> Middle Ain't no middle. They gonna cut out the middle. So do you understand me saying? He's gonna be. Yeah, he already said. All of them gonna say that. Shoot. They already feel that. You don't feel that? If Ben said that when they kill us and they say, what's the verdict? Not guilty. Who's standing up for that? That you're gonna vote for? They're making sure that we get justice. Hmm. It's all about who's gonna rouse him up. You better understand. 
That's what it's all about. Who's going to rouse Judah up? What it's going to take to rouse us up? You remember the, the verdict, not guilty, not guilty, not guilty, not guilty with Rodney King? That started to rise. So now they're doing things to try and see what's going to get these, these blacks to, to rouse up, which is the tribe of Judah, so we can bring them down. We can start dealing with them and bring on these prophecies that's in this Bible. I'm looking forward to it because the prophecies got to be fulfilled. Yeah. Okay, no, it don't matter who you vote for. It's in the time of Jacob's trouble, point blank. Better understand this and overstand this. Do people really think the vote means anything? <laughs> you got something? Jeremiah 30 and 6. Ask ye now and see whether a man doth travail with town. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins? Yeah, man. Do a man have a child? No. Not naturally. I'm telling what Esau doing now. <laughs> but it's not natural for a man to travail, have those contractions, having a child. Say, so why do I see all the men of Jacob with their hand on their loins? In pain, really? And all faces are turned to paleness. Yeah, man. Catching a hard time, really? Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. Where we at, man? See, that, that day is great. It's the time of Jacob's trouble. And that's what we in, people. That's why I get uh, Zechariah 11 and 5. Now y'all know, y'all done seen a brother run away from the cop, pow, shooting right in the back dead. It was sad when I see all these brothers that have been just murdered. And what's the verdict? Not guilty. What the most I said, look, read. Zechariah 11 and 5, whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. What's the verdict? Not guilty. Harry Garner? Not guilty. All the rest of the brothers that's